Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Privilege Karkai Madovi, the Managing Director for African Training Institute from Pretoria, South Africa, with the branches across uh, other countries, Rwanda, in Kigali, and Zimbabwe in Harare. Thank you. Okay, the emergence of uh, African Training Institute was motivated by the need for a competent workforce. We are more into capacity building, as we have always seen across the board that uh, Africa is uh, just taken as an underdog in terms of development, so it takes uh, human competence to develop. So African Training Institute was uh, motivated by the need to have uh, competent staff. As our motto says, as you can see here, uh, broadening Africa's mind, so that's where we come in. We intend to ensure that the human resources of Africa actually do well. That's capacity building is our thing. Okay, the institute has been running for six years now. And uh, as for the Rwandans, we need to enroll on our project, on our programs. I guarantee them uh, quality. We are more into quality programs. What we do, we don't only offer candy programs. We actually come with customized trainings. For example, there may be some various organizations here in Rwanda working on donor-funded projects, be it funded by UNDP, World Bank, FDB. We come in and actually customize the, the programs according to their needs. And uh, here in Rwanda, we also provide various programs that blend with the aspirations of Rwanda as far as development is concerned. Okay, there is no way we can talk of uh, development in Africa and not uh, bring Rwanda into the picture. Currently, one of the fastest uh, growing economies in Africa. Uh, we can even uh, talk of something that may be viewed as little and small. The cleanliness of Kigali as a city is just uh, one clear sign of order in a country. As far as our programs are concerned, we come in to blend with Rwanda's uh, strategies. If I can talk of, for example, the Vision 2020, human resource development and uh, knowledge is one of the key pillars, the six pillars of the uh, Vision 2020, and we come in to blend on that. Also, Rwanda is uh, one of the countries that is the most, uh, the most investor-friendly policies. In one of the books authored by His Excellence, Paul Kagame, he indicated that was sometime in 2015 that it takes about two hours to complete business registration and be able to commence operations. That was uh, in the rebuilding of a nation, or that uh, published in 2015, which I'm sure by now, some years down the line, it actually takes far lesser than that. The policies are quite investor friendly policies. The heart of uh, African growth, as far as uh, we are talking of development in Africa. I can also talk of the Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy, DPRS2 of Rwanda, blending it with the Vision 2020. We have various programs that are more focused on poverty eradication. And as the six pillars I indicated earlier on, human resource development, so we come in to blend the EDPRS and the Vision 2020 of Rwanda, thereby ensuring that the human resources of Rwanda are in a position to match the strategies and policies set by the government. So that's capacity building. If we also look at the six pillars, all of them, there is none of them that cannot do without capacity building. If you look at infrastructure development, private sector led economy, uh, governance, among others, it all ta takes capacity building. So hence the favorite, uh, uh, why we favor Rwanda as a destination. We have quite a wide range of uh, programs that we offer here in Rwanda, among other places. I can just mention a few. We have economic development programs, we have uh, poverty eradication programs, uh, gender and women empowerment programs, uh, peace and security, procurement, governance, administration, finance, media, oil and gas, secretarial programs, just to mention a few. In our programs, we do have uh, various IT-related courses, which come in actually to support the digitalization of Rwanda's economy. 
we are of the understanding that uh, Rwanda is uh, fastly moving into the digital world. Hence, we have uh, various programs such as uh, human resources information systems, electronic records management, IT strategy and information management, forensic auditing, IT security and cyber crime prevention, and all other various uh, IT programs that support the digitalization of Rwanda. For example, we are of the understanding that uh, Rwanda is uh, making almost all government services accessible uh, online, hence we actually come into blend on that. Okay, we offer our training programs here in uh, Kigali, Rwanda, and we also have uh, other training centers. Our head office is in Pretoria, South Africa. We do organize the trainings in uh, Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. We also have organized trainings in Accra, Ghana. We also have another branch in Zimbabwe, that is specifically in Harare. We also do offer in-house trainings where we travel to different organizations in different countries. In some cases, we can find that our clientele would uh, be having maybe a group of people in which maybe to, for budget constraints, they will not be able to fly them to a specific uh, destination. So we send our team of qualified experts to deliver the training in-house. So when we are called, we go, we deliver the program. And I can say, whatever we are required by our clients to go deliver the programs, we go there. And uh, also in terms of how we operate, like for example here in Kigali, when our delegates come, we do offer them uh, time for excursions we are of the understanding that it's not just about uh, learning. When people come for training, we also take the opportunity for them to ensure that they refresh and go back to work in a, a good state, ability to perform better. Hence, you take them for excursions, which you also take as part of uh, promoting Rwanda as a tourism uh, destination, that's the Visit Rwanda campaign. We, on Fridays, we take our delegates to various destinations, the Genocide Memorial, Akagera National Park, uh, other museums around here just to promote uh, local tourism as well. We also take our delegates for shopping, which is part of the promotion of the Made in Rwanda products. That's also spending locally here, contributing to forex earnings in Rwanda. We have online platforms where our delegates can visit our website. The website is www.africantraining.co.za. I'll repeat the website www.africantraining.co.za. On that website, they'll find a, a book, a course. They just click on that link, they follow the link, then they uh, complete the form. Our friendly staff will revert back with all the necessary information. We also reach a book via phone. They can uh, email us at the head office in South Africa. It's uh, uh, plus two seven one two three four eight two five one. Here at our Kigali office, they can also contact us via phone plus two five zero seven double eight triple seven double zero. They can also email us on admin at africantraining.co.za or kigali at africantraining.co.za. Then we will respond with all the necessary information.